Welcome everyone, I'm King of Valence, and thanks for watching this Spore Glitch Showcase. Today, we are going through some of my favorite glitches and exploits for Civilization Stage. This first glitch takes place in the Vehicle Editor to build a tank with the minimum 0% stats using only detail pieces. Normally, we have to place down a base piece or a cockpit first, then we can connect additional detail pieces. Since all base pieces and cockpits give stat bonuses, and at least one are supposed to be required in the build, every vehicle should have at least one stat bonus when saved. However, using a clever stacking technique, it is possible to have only detail pieces for our tank. First place any base piece, then a detail part that can be turned to overlap with itself. Now take a second detail piece, make it as small as possible, and place it on the cross section where the first detail piece overlaps. It should snap into place, and looking carefully at the overlapping pieces, one of them is darker to show that this is the piece connected to the spheres. This looks about right, and now we can remove those overlapping pieces, grabbing the side that was not connected to the spheres before, leaving just the spheres floating on their own. Remove the base piece, and we have a tank using only one detail piece, and each of the health, power, and speed are at their minimums at 0%. I'll place two more detail pieces for the three-piece minimum, and that will allow us to have any vehicle without needing to use a base piece or a cockpit for the minimum stats possible. I want to give a huge thank you to Matte Forsyk, hopefully I pronounced that correctly, and Jensen42 for describing and demonstrating this technique to me. Next, at the start of Civilization stage, we only have access to vehicles on our home continent. However, this glitch will allow us to move a tank to the other continent early so we can start capturing other spice geysers immediately. In the city planner, we can grab the tanks nearby to sell them. However, if we combine this while saving, we can grab and move the tank to wherever we want. When saving with Ctrl and S on the keyboard, the game can still be interacted with for a second. Then the game is locked to finish the save. So if we save, go into the planner, grab and move the tank, wait for the save to complete, then quit without saving, and reload the game, the tank will be saved right where we left it when the game was saving. And since we were holding the tank near the other continent, the tank will stay across the ocean. This can be a bit tricky, but it's fairly lenient as long as the tank was saved fairly close to the other shore. But now we got our tank on the other continent. We can capture all the spice geysers, monopolizing the entire spice market. I want to give a big thanks to Getter92, Zealot, and Savage Brick for theorizing and performing this glitch and showing me how it all works. Next, taking a look at military vehicles, every second or so, a vehicle will lob its attack at the defending city. But this is way too slow. We want more military firepower. It is common to switch the vehicles when they arrive to more powerful tanks, so their attack does more damage per volley. But this is still too slow. We have a war to win. If we wait until the tank sends their volley, we can pause the game, then switch the tank to another powerful tank, and it will shoot another volley immediately. Pause after a volley, switch the tank, then resume and pause just after a second. It doesn't take long for them to fire again after being switched, and it is possible to stack this multiple times. Change the tanks again, resume and pause for another immediate volley. And there we go. That's much better. We could have our tiny tank army destroy each building very quickly. This next exploit takes advantage of a civilization stage glitch when religious vehicles are attempting to capture a city. When religious vehicles attack a city, for some reason the capture bar does not appear until the defending city is fully in view. In this example, Green is attacking the Crimson City. We can see Crimson's defending city, but it is too far away from our camera so the religious conquer bar does not appear. I'll speed this up to show no matter how many tanks Green throws at Crimson, Green will be stuck. This happens when our religious tanks attack as well, so keep that in mind to fully look at defending cities we want to attack. But this can be used to prevent green and other religious cities from ever taking over other cities. And we can use this to keep green weak as we build up our forces to capture green before they have a chance to further develop. And I'll show that putting Crimson fully into view will bring up the conquer bar, and now green can begin to capture for real. Next, sometimes in Civilization stage, when nations get large enough, they can start demanding funds or want us to choose sides in the wars going on. Normally, the game forces us to make a decision, either declaring war on another nation or denying the ones who called us, either way lowering relationships with other nations. But we can actually bypass this message and get out of making a decision. When a message like this appears, we can still interact with the game behind this message. If we have another city in view, we could right-click on their town hall and call this city bypassing the communication panel from Brown. If there wasn't another city in view, we can still move our camera around to find another city. Going in and out of the options menu can help, and we can use the movement keys on the keyboard to find another city. We're going to line up ourselves so we can see another rival city just off to the side of the communication panel. And we can right click and call the other city, and it brings up a new communication screen. And we've just bypassed the demands from Brown Nation. Say goodbye and we are completely free, and there are no negative side effects for hanging up on them. This time Brown is asking for money, but we can keep ignoring them. An interesting note when doing the bypass, if Brown is calling us, but we use Crimson or another nation to do the bypass, this will remove the call button for Brown since we bypassed using a different nation from the original caller. This is a strange side effect when using the method in this way, but we can call Brown again directly, and this still works and will reset Brown's communication button. I want to give another big thank you to Metatic for explaining this to me. This will make Civilization Stage a lot easier. 
This next glitch creates a very interesting city layout. Typically, we can only fit 11 buildings in the city planner, but here we have a lot of red buildings, and some are outside the city limits. This trick uses Windows Control alt delete to stack multiple city planners on top of each other to place down these extra buildings and buy multiple vehicles at once, even if we don't have the money for them. On Windows, pressing Control alt delete brings up the blue menu with the Task Manager. Then pressing Escape on the keyboard leaves this menu and brings us back to the game. However, there's a second or so between exiting this Control alt delete menu and returning to the game, shown by that freeze and black flash in the recording. While Windows is returning to the game, Spore is paused yet still accepting inputs during this freeze time. And when Spore is fully brought back, the game will execute all the inputs made during this freeze at the same time. So I'm going to put my mouse on the City Planner button, press Control delete then Escape, and spam left-click while the game is loading back up. And Spore saw that as selecting the City Planner twice. This can be seen if we move between the Building and Vehicle tabs, it looks like there are two menus on top of each other. We can drag a house into the city and a red building appears where the first house hovered over the ground. We bought two houses at once, but we were still charged for both. Now we have 1,000 Spore Bucks, normally enough to buy one additional tank. However, we are still going to be able to buy two tanks at once. When we buy the tank, we are charged 2,000 Spore Bucks, leaving us with negative 1,000 Spore Bucks. Both tanks appeared right on top of each other, but the vehicle list shows we still have three total vehicles. After exiting a stacked city planner, we are locked in a paused state. We can still send our tanks, but the game is paused and we can't really do anything. Here the game must be completely closed and reopened. Save and quit, and relaunch the game. Only quitting to the main menu isn't enough to reset the game. Spore must be completely closed. Back in the game, we are still in debt, but we have our loaned tank to use. It is possible to stack multiple city planners in one control alt delete if we spam left click fast enough. And we can keep stacking city planners through additional control alt deletes. We will buy as many vehicles as we have stacked city planners as long as we start with at least 1000 Spore Bucks. In this example, there are 6 city planners stacked, buy a tank, and we got 6 tanks bringing us down to negative 5,000 spore bucks. Restart the game, and we have our loaned tank army. Hopefully these tanks can conquer some cities and spice geysers because we can't buy anything while we have negative money. We can use this technique to increase our vehicle cap as well. Those red buildings still count towards our city's total population. With a full city of houses, our current vehicle cap is 17. We can get another vehicle slot for each additional house in or around our city. Stack the city planner using Control delete and now we can place down two extra houses bringing us up to 19 maximum vehicles. Close and relaunch the game and now we are back to normal with 19 vehicle slots. Very important, it appears that we can only have a maximum of two red buildings per city. If we have more than two red buildings outside the city, the game will crash when loaded back up every time and cannot be fixed. Also very important, do not grab or interact with the red buildings when they're outside the city or the game will crash. To sell or remove the red buildings, they must be in the city using the normal building locations. To bring the red buildings back into the city, we need to make room for them. We have two extra red buildings, so we can sell two normal buildings to make room. Close and relaunch the game, and when we return, the red buildings will teleport into the open locations and now can be sold safely. Make sure to keep lots of backups when trying this out for yourself. Another cool application for this method can give us one free building of our choice. Here we have 4200 spore bucks. Click and drag a building like we're going to sell it. While we're holding down left click, press Control delete then escape, and our building will be copied for free. Place down the house, and we've gained an extra blue connection to an empty building spot, and our money is still at 4200 spore bucks. I'll show it again with the factory. Drag and hold the factory, and while holding left click, press Control delete then escape, and another factory's connections are made from the original location, giving us all the spice production where the factory used to be. To fix this, place a building in the copied location to remove the fake building. Sometimes when doing this, the buildings can be placed at funny angles. This house looks like it has fallen over. I want to give another massive thank you to Getter92 for discovering this and helping me with the details of this glitch. This is a lot of fun to play around with. Next, this interesting exploit also messing around with city planners involves selling buildings from other cities. When selling buildings we just place, they sell for full price. But selling buildings already present in the city will sell for half price on hard difficulty. But if we sell buildings from other cities, they will always sell for full price. If another city is viewable, we can grab and drop their buildings into this city. Compare this with a regular building bought from this city. If we exit the planner and come back in, the building from the other city still sells for full price, while the building we just bought from this city sells at half price. This footage was recorded on the earliest version of Spore. On the latest version, patch 1.5 I usually play through Steam, the game immediately crashes as soon as I grab a building from the other city. But if anyone is still on the oldest version of Spore, this can save some money during Civilization stage. Big thanks to Rocket for explaining this to me, this is pretty cool, and funny how the game crashes more in later versions. 
And finally, this is a follow-up to the Space Stage Glitches video where I showed it was possible to duplicate select missions from the home planet during the tutorial section of Space Stage for extra Missionista badge completion. Reminder, this is the order our home planet will prompt us to complete tutorial missions. It has been discovered that it is possible to further get three missions at a time for some missions, along with duplicating a few additional missions as well. After finishing the colony mission, we will start the Find an Alien mission briefing, and I'll keep track of the message order on the side as well. Save on the first message with once again, quit without saving, and load back into the game. Contact our Empire, and we're back at the once again, followed by Captain, we have intercepted, then your short range communicator, where we will save and quit again, and load back up the game. Contact them again, and we are back at the Captain, we have intercepted message, then go through to reach the your short range communicator message again, and save and quit once more. Back in the game, our home planet will call us three times. Now we can accept three find an alien missions. That took three save and quits to get three find an alien missions. Next, we will get three Sell the Spice missions after returning from finding an alien empire. The Sell the Spice mission briefing begins with the download from your data recorder. Next is Our Cities Have Been, then save and quit on this message. Back in the game, we are going to save on the Our Cities Have Been message again and reload the game. We only need to save and quit twice for this mission, and now we are going to be called three times by our home planet again. Here we can click through accepting all three Sell Spice missions. Sell some spice in return, and we are ready for the Free Choice mission. We are still going to choose the Establish the Trade Route mission because it gives the largest cash reward for completing it, but we don't need to do any more saving. Just need to ask for the Trade Route three times from the list of available options. Remember that in order to get the extra Sell the Spice and extra Trade Route missions, the Find an Alien Empire mission needed to be duplicated first when prompted by the home planet. Those are all the ways to currently get three missions at a time, but there are still more missions to duplicate. After we've completed these first five missions and we've made some progress in Space Stage, our home planet will eventually call us up again to give us the Colonize Three Star Systems mission. This mission begins with, hey there, next is, you're on your own, then save and quit on this message. Load back into the game and we get two of this mission. After this mission later, we will be asked to colonize seven star systems. This briefing starts with, we need you to, next is, it's up to you, then we can save and quit on this second message as well to get two of this mission. And lastly, our empire will want us to create three alliances with other empires. We are going to save on the second message here too. The alliance mission begins with, our strategists are nervous. Next is, alright it's time. Then save and quit here and we will have two ally other empire missions. In total with the space stage glitches video, we got one scan the destroyed cities mission, two colony missions, three find an alien missions, three sell spice missions, three trade route missions, two colonize three star system missions, two colonize seven star system missions, and two ally three empire missions. That's 18 total missions, completed with 10 bonus missions thanks to all the duplication. And that's everything I wanted to show for Civilization Stage and some extra Space Stage glitches. Let me know what your favorite Spore glitches are, and if you know of any more glitches that weren't covered here. I'd love to check them out. Thank you so much for watching, I'm King of Valence, and I'll see you next time.